Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Barbie Dolls of the Week. I've been gone for a little while because my computer took it upon itself, or maybe I should say Microsoft did, to switch me over to Windows 10 automatically and I couldn't find the webcam. And it took me a while but I got things situated. So, a um, couple other odds and ends before we get to the main focus this week. Uh, I wanted to show you guys an especially stardust ceiling. I have my curvy Barbie here, and she is using this homemade stand that I made using Stardust Ceilings uh, instructions and the pictures you sent me. Now, this is a mock one or mock up of one. It works, but I mean, it's certainly not the finished product, so a prototype. Very rough on the edges because I use scissors. This is not easy to use scissors with. Uh, Mike, my other half, it says I need to use an X-Acto knife, so I'm going to try that next. But I used your pictures to do this, and I used the idea of the backslash kind of thing here, and that really helps with stability. So for anyone who wants to try it, this is what it looks like, and it's made with foam board. Uh, this one is black because that's what we had, but ideally it would be white. Um, I don't think it's doing anything to her legs. I don't see anything. And, you know, with her being a little heftier than a normal Barbie, it's holding her up fine. And it also held up a normal Barbie-type doll um, as well. So, again, thank you, Stardust Ceiling. And I'll have to try the next one um, with the X-Acto knife. Uh, another thing I want to show you up here on the wall. I've started my project. I mean, normally you guys are used to seeing shelves up here above these shelves. But I've taken those down, and I'm getting ready to repaint that wall in the next month and put up some new shelves based on um, a inspiration from Rafael R Rivera from Facebook, one of our Facebook friends. And you know, so you'll you'll have to see the finished product in a few weeks. But got a lot in transition over here. That's why a lot of stuff just laying of the Migos and superhero figures and a few other things but it won't be like that for long hopefully so now on to the main topic today now I was asked in a um, on a YouTube video I did recently and also this topic came up on Facebook about pink and pretty Barbie and I decided you know what I haven't done a video of pink and pretty Barbie so I want to focus a video on just her well her and Thankfully, they had a Christie doll, so the Christie doll. So let's start with this book that I have. And I want to show you this book. This is, I'm sure some of you have seen it, Collectively Yours, Barbie, 1980 to 1990. Of course, you know, a lot of good years in there for Barbie doll. And on page 26 and 27, and by the way, this is by Margot uh, Rana, I think it's pronounced, or Rana. Um, she has featured the pink and pretty Barbie and the pink and pretty Christie. So let me show you if I can figure out which way to go. The Barbie first. And you see the page on her. And then the Christie is over here. Now these are beautiful dolls. I just really like them. Especially the outfits and the jewelry. Uh, the doll is very pretty, don't get me wrong, but I think the one thing I'd like to see differently had I been designing it was the makeup. A little bit brighter, maybe. But um, this is from 1981, also, you know, I'm sure on the shelves in 82. But it says, uh, the early 80s offered many fashion changes and accessories for Barbie dolls. Pink and pretty was no exception. Fabulous face, hair and skin... Pink and Pretty came with a lot of spectacular things. The fashion included a glimmery soft pink top, elegant nylon pull-on pants, and a matching skirt. There's a chiffon overskirt, a faux fur trim piece that doubles as a hat, peplum or collar, and a faux fur boa. In addition to all these feminine fashion changes, you get dazzling, dangling, or post earrings with matching imitation gemstone ring and necklace, pink mule shoes, aqua blue brush, comb, mirror, and perfume bottle with decal. There's even a World of Fashion booklet, as was included with most, if not all, the dolls, and a $2.50 rebate coupon for Barbie's electronic piano. I wish... 
and she says, I wish I had an electric piano for my doll. Pink and Pretty Barbie in the photo below was made in Taiwan, and the doll on the photo in the left was made in the Philippines. So if we look at this, this doll was the one she says, let's see, below was made in Taiwan, and then this one was made in the Philippines. So, and there's definitely a difference, and I'll, sh I'll show you an example of that soon. But let's look quickly at the Pink and Pretty Christy over here. Now, this is, a, as I said, a great doll, and I love all the different things you can do with the outfit, which is something that's so different than dolls of today. Um, she says, by the way, with over 10 mix and match possibilities, you can have hours of fun changing your clothes. Uh, now that brings up a question, by the way, it recently came up on a Facebook discussion, was there 10 or 20 dazzling outfits <laughs> combinations that you could have? So let's look at this box right here that I have from Pink and Pretty Christy, which actually I have her in the box, but I've got her out right now. So it says on the front, over 20 absolutely dreamy looks which I like the way they phrase that. And you know, they show some of the dreamy looks here on the side. Here's three right here. One, you know, three different combinations. And then here's three more on the back with slight changes. And you know, notice how different the hair is in each of these drawings, by the way. And then on the other side is three more. So, um, on the front also, I love this particular drawing of Christy here. It's like the closest one. But it just shows the creativity that, you know, could just be used with this doll's outfits. And that's one of the reasons I really like her. Now, let's, while I was talking about Christy, let's take a look at this Christy that I got in the box with that's temporarily out. Um, here she is. And as you can see, she's gorgeous. And here are the different pieces uh, that come with the doll that are on the doll. Now, one thing that didn't come with this doll that I wish did was a stand. So I'm not exactly sure when they started putting stands in with the dolls, but obviously not at this point. Now, that description mentioned a blue brush. This is definitely not blue in this one. And maybe it's because it's Christy. I don't know. But this is a purple or light purple one um, and there's a little the little uh, headpiece peplum or peplum kind of thing um, there's a mirror in here the little shoes that are just the slip-on shoes a comb I don't see the little bottle of whatever it was she was talking about but maybe it is in here somewhere hiding um, so anyway that's the little packet that came off and I'll put it back in the box now moving on to Barbie, I want to show you this Barbie who you've seen in a recent video on the whole Superstar Lane that I showed up above me here. And um, this is of course the famous pink and pretty Barbie herself. Uh, she's got several pieces that she's wearing. And I always did like this overskirt thing that they were mentioning with the fake or the faux fur trim. Um, you see that here. And then she's got this, which, you know, this is kind of dingy over time. It, it doesn't look as good as it used to, but it still looks pretty good for as old as it is. I love the little fringy deals here. It's kind of fun. Um, and then I love her jewelry, the pendant jewelry that she's got on. They mentioned you could also do pose, but there's no way I would ever take those out and, you know, lose, probably lose some of the pieces. Um... The one thing is, as I've mentioned before, that when they sit for a long time, you know, this skirt gets really loose. So, unfortunately, it is. And she has the pants on underneath. And so both both sets, you know, the, the uh, thing is really loose. But she's a really pretty doll. The only thing, as I mentioned earlier, that I personally would have changed was... I would have made her makeup a little brighter, especially the lipstick and a little more blush. Um, this one, I really like her eyes. They're, they're nice and big and blue. Now, last week, I have to tell you guys, I was shocked to find, I was at 
a local outdoor flea market that we have here in town called the Woodruff Place Flea Market. And I went there last Sunday because Saturday it rained and rained. But um, anyway, I went there and the only thing I found was this girl, which look who it is, pink and pretty herself. Now she was on the top of a bin of toys, just and I didn't even look and see what kind of toys this. That doll stood out to me, and I was like, seriously? There's a pink and pretty Barbie sitting there? And look, she has all her jewelry, necklace, earrings, and ring, and she's in pretty good shape. Now, I have given her a bath and, and done her hair, but her hair wasn't that bad. Um, it looks pretty good right now. And um, the clothing is in pretty good shape. Each piece has like one stain. Like if you notice, right here is a stain. You can barely see it in this picture, I think. But I've really worked on it. It was worse. And then on the skirt, there's one down here. You can't, I mean, it's hard to see, but there is one. Trust me, I see it. And um, by the way, her, her skirt, look how loose that is right there. So it's really loose, too. And, and if anyone has any ideas on easy ways that that could be tightened back up so that it's like this, I guess I could just put a little cincher in the back. But if anybody has any other ideas, please let me know. I would be very curious to know. And then this was also on her, the pants that I showed you on the other, my pink and pretty, on, are on my new pink and pretty as well. And... You know, these are the pants. Now you can see it's got like a scrape there on the one leg down the side. Um, but it's not that noticeable. I'm going to try and see if I can get it out. If anybody has any ideas, let me know. This, by the way, the pants on this one are really good. This is very, still very tight. Um, so, yeah, each piece of the three pieces of clothing that she had are in good shape but they have a stain and they do have the snaps on this back of this um, bodice here uh, so looks good overall but let me show you these two together for a minute and I want to see if you can tell the difference um, to me they I wasn't even convinced this was pink and pretty at first I thought oh she's just another doll in pink and pretty's outfit but when I compared the eyes that little white dot is in the exact spot She's got the right jewelry, and overall she does kind of look like her with the light makeup. But the eyes are quite different, um, if you look at them closely. I don't know how well you guys can see them. And the makeup on this one is, there is more makeup, especially the blush. You can actually see blush on her cheeks. Uh, this one, you can't. I mean, I can't see any. But anyway... I looked, and it turns out that one is from Taiwan, which I believe is this one, and one is from the Philippines, which is this one. And let me just double check. Let me look at the back of this one. Yeah, she's the one from the Philippines. So, by the way, shout out to my friends and viewers in the Philippines. You guys made some kick-ass dolls over the years, or your country did. So, um, I like the Philippines one better overall. But I do like this one's eyes better. Just, you know, a little bit little bit better. But overall, they're both really pretty dolls. I'm so glad to find this one. It was so funny to be talking about that on Facebook and YouTube with some people. And then all of a sudden, the one thing I find of that whole six blocks, by the way, of the Woodruff Place flea market that I'm interested in is Pink and Pretty Barbie. Now, she doesn't have all her pieces but maybe I can find some of the missing pieces uh, at some point. And I'll have to look through my stuff. I could have some. Um, by the way, this one, she does have that uh, top or head, head part. But I just don't have it out right now. So anyway, with that, I hope you've enjoyed this focus on the Pink and Pretty Barbie from 1981. And I will see you guys next time.